Hi there. I'd made a video last year in November of 2020 on how to disable Samsung voice input for Google voice typing on your Samsung Galaxy phone. But now in June 2021, a lot has changed. We're currently on the One UI 3.1 version and Android version 11. So Samsung has released quite a few updates and things have changed. Today, in order to choose between Samsung Voice Input or Google Voice Typing on your Samsung Galaxy phone, you want to go down to General Management. In General Management, you want to do Keyboard List and Default, which is around the middle. And here you can see we've got Google Voice Typing selected. Uh, you've got Samsung Voice Input below that. And on top, you've got Samsung Keyboard which is used for typing or Gboard. I've got the Samsung keyboard selected because I like using uh, the Samsung keyboard as I have a Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus and it's very easy and productive to use my S Pen on the Samsung keyboard. At the bottom is a very cool new feature called keyboard button on navigation bar, which is activated by default. And I'll show you that in a second. So notice that I've got Google voice typing activated right now and not Samsung voice input. Let's go into our Messages app, click on the message bar, and now when I click on the microphone, you'll see what happens. We're in the Google voice typing dashboard, which is exactly what I have selected in my settings panel. So I'm going to shut the microphone and on the bottom of the phone, on the bottom of your screen, you'll see the navigation bar of the phone and on the bottom right corner, you'll see the keyboard button, which are a bunch of dots in a rectangle. So you click that, that's the keyboard button that I was talking about. So currently it displays the input methods of Google voice typing or the Samsung keyboard, the Samsung keyboard again being used for typing, not for voice typing. Let's go back to settings. Now, if I select Samsung voice input, what do you think will happen? Will Google voice typing become deselected? So let's click on Samsung Voice Input. It gives you a prompt that once you restart your phone, you must unlock it in order to use the feature. That's fine. So now you notice that both Samsung Voice Input and Google Voice Typing are selected, which means that in this new iteration of the UI, you, you can activate both Google Voice Typing and Samsung Voice Input but you toggle between the two once you're in an app where you're using a microphone for voice typing. So let's go into the Messages app and go back to that button, the keyboard button on the bottom right. We now see that we've got Google Voice Typing and Samsung Voice Input to toggle between. So if I click on Samsung Voice Input, we're now in the Samsung Voice Input dashboard for converting our speech to text. Let's click that icon again, the top uh, the, the bottom right corner for the button for the keyboard. And now let's click on Google voice typing. And you can see clearly that we're back in the Google voice typing dashboard. So now in the summer of 2021, it's become very fluid very user-friendly to toggle between Google Voice Typing and Samsung Voice Input. Let's go back to settings. You can either leave both Google Voice Typing and Samsung Voice Input selected, or you can turn off one or the other. I prefer using Google Voice Typing by default, so I'm going to turn off Samsung Voice Input. So if I go back to Messages and I click the microphone, it immediately takes me to the Google voice typing mechanism, which is exactly what I want. So this was a quick and easy video to show you that now it's very easy to select between Samsung voice input and Google voice typing, depending on your preference. Thank you for visiting. Come back and watch more videos on my channel. I've been traveling quite a bit for the last five years. But now I'll be making more videos that I'm back in Los Angeles about my travels, about tech tips, and about rescuing dogs and about kiteboarding. Thank you for visiting and I'll see you soon.